सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड द वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन वे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर रेलिवेंट फॉर ऑल द गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम एंड स्पेशली फॉर द अपकमिंग आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन विदाउट एनी डिले बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बूस्ट अप योर प्रिपरेशन यू कैन जॉइन दिस क्रैश कोर्स वे यू कैन गेट द डाउनलोडेबल पी डी एफ द वीडियो एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द एंटायर कंटेंट the monthly gk capsule the monthly pdf and of course the mock test and if you want to enroll in this course you can download the anuj in the lab from your google play store if you want to ask anything related to examination you can follow me here on instagram and if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link for which is provided in the description okay so let's begin with the very first question which says Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the Shreshth scheme, which is being implemented by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, which is headed by Dr. Virendra Kumar? Okay, so remember, guys, this scheme, Shreshth scheme, was launched by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment last year in the year two thousand and twenty-one on sixth December two thousand and twenty-one, and sixth December two thousand and twenty-one, guys, is actually the Maha Pari Nirvan Divas. महापरी निर्वाण दिवस विच इज द बर्थ सॉरी डेथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द ग्रेट डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर का ये डेथ एनिवर्सरी होता है एंड इट इज बींग ऑब्जर्व एज महापरी निर्वाण दिवस बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो ऑन दिस डे दिस स्कीम श्रेष्ठ स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट एंड द फुल फॉर्म इज स्कीम फॉर रेजिडेंशियल एजुकेशन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स इन हाई स्कूल इन टारगेटेड एरियाज राइट so as the name suggests this scheme is for providing residential uh, education to the students and these students are from the sc category okay so talking in detail about its objective the objective is to provide the meritorious sc boys and girls the seats in the best private residential schools in the country thereby filling the gap which is there in the scheduled caste dominant areas in the area of education all right and the objective is also to provide an environment for socio economic upliftment and overall development of the scheduled caste people across the country okay so as i already told you it was launched in the year 2021 up to 2026 it will be impl implemented the eligibility to get the benefit under this scheme is that the student should be from the sc category with family income not more than rupees 2.5 lakh per annum the preference however will be given to those students whose family income is less than rupees 1 lakh and the students having the physical disability and one third uh, 30% of these slots will be reserved for the girl students so this is the eligibility to get the benefit under this particular scheme and let me tell you guys this is very very important scheme for the upcoming rbi grade b exam isme se question aana chahiye mere hisab se now remember this scheme is being implemented in two modes theek hai do modes mein implement ho raha hai number one is mode one in which each year 2200 meritorious sc students from all the states and uts will be selected for quality residential education in top class residential high schools across the country the admission would be given in class 9th and 11th and this admission will be through an open competitive examination which they are calling as shreshth nets okay and after that a separate list of finally selected student will be uploaded on a portal which is known as what e anudan portal so do remember the name of this portal as well and in the mode 2 the ongoing projects of non residential schools residential school hostels of voluntary organizations or ngos are also supported so basically jo already is tarike ke project chal rahe hain through uh, by any voluntary organization or ngos usko bhi support kiya jayega under the mode 2 of this particular scheme okay now these are the other two key points number one the preference will be given to the aspirational districts identified by the niti aayog and educationally backward districts and those districts which have sc population larger than the national average of 16.2% so these areas will be given the preference and the entire cost of school fee and residential charges including mess charges which is uh, ranged from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 35000 per annum for each student will be paid by the government to that private school in which the admission is provided to the beneficiary student okay so that's all about this scheme guys and now let's come back to the question here you have to identify the incorrect statement so the beneficiary should be an sc student with annual income not more than 2 lakh bilkul sahi baat hai it was launched in 2020 no 
it was launched in 2021 which means the option b guys will be the correct answer to this question i hope this question is clear and now let's talk about question number 2 how much amount of scholarship is provided per month to selected scholars for a period of 2 years in 4 6 equal in 4 6 monthly 4 equal 6 monthly installment under the scheme sorry a uh, scholarship of young artist being implemented by the ministry of culture so everything is already provided in the scheme you just have to identify the amount of scholarship so let's talk about this scheme remember it is in news because a reply was submitted uh, by the ministry of culture in the parliament regarding this scheme the objective of this scheme guys is to provide scholarship to the young artist in different cultural fields including traditional art forms for undergoing advanced training in their respective fields jo hamare young artist hain उनको स्कॉलरशिप प्रोवाइड कराई जाती है स्कीम के अंडर ताकि वो एडवांस ट्रेनिंग के थ्रू जा सके इन देयर रिस्पेक्टिव फील्ड एंड व्हाट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप दैट इज रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड पर मंथ व्हिच इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द स्कॉलर्स फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टू इयर्स इन फोर इक्वली इक्वल सिक्स मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट राइट द एलिजिबिलिटी टू गेट द बेनिफिट इज दैट द स्कॉलर शुड बी बिटवीन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ एटीन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड द सिलेक्टेड स्कॉलर should have been undergoing training under any guru or institution for a minimum period of 5 years matlab 5 saal ki uske paas training honi chahiye and besides this there is no need to go into the details of this scheme theek hai kuch bhi zarurat nahi hai and yes remember it is being implemented by the ministry of culture which is headed by mr g kishan reddy all right so now let's come back to the question the correct answer will be what option e rupees 5000 because the question is regarding the amount of scholarship Moving ahead to question number three, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting headed by Anurag Thakur, his Lok Sabha constituency is Hamirpur. Hamirpur is in Himachal Pradesh. Has launched Broadcast Seva portal for speedy filing and processing of applications of broadcasters for various kinds of licenses, permissions, registrations, etc. It has been developed in cooperation with Dash. So you have to fill this gap. कि किसके cooperation के साथ इसको बनाया गया है. so remember this broadcast seva portal has been launched by ministry of information and broadcasting in new delhi it is basically an online portal which will provide which we will be basically a one stop solution for speedy filing and processing of all the applications of broadcasters for various kinds of services like licensing permissions registrations etc all right and it will also reduce the turn around time of applications and at the same time it will help the applicants to track the progress of their application and by reducing interface it will definitely give a boost to the ease of doing business in the country remember it has been developed with broadcast engineering consultants india limited and the technology partner is tcs which is the tata consultancy services all right so now let's come back to the question the it has been developed in collab in collaboration with broadcast engineering Consultants India Limited, which is a mini Ratna, which is a mini Ratna under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. All right, so option C is the correct answer. And now the question number four: Name the awareness mascot which has been launched by Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change to spread awareness among masses about small changes that can be adopted in our lifestyle for a better environment. Sorry. So remember the name of the mascot is Prakriti. Prakriti is nothing but nature in English. Nature, or you can say Kudrat. Kudrat, nature, Prakriti, एक ही बात है. So this mascot has been launched to spread awareness among masses about small changes that we can adopt so that uh, our so that we can have a better environment in future. Okay. And remember, during the event, there were some green initiative launched for plastic waste management. ठीक है तो चार इनिशिएटिव लॉन्च हुए हैं नंबर वन इज द नेशनल डैशबोर्ड ऑन एलिमिनेशन ऑफ सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक एंड प्लास्टिक वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इट हैज बीन लॉन्च टू ब्रिंग ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स वेदर इट इज एनी इंस्टीट्यूशन एनी गवर्नमेंट और एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एट वन प्लेस सो दैट दी स्टेक होल्डर्स कैन ट्रैक द प्रोग्रेस विच हैव बीन मेड फॉर एलिमिनेशन ऑफ सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक इन दी कंट्री देन वी हैव एक्सटेंडेड प्रोड्यूसर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पोर्टल फॉर प्लास्टिक पैकेजिंग इट हैज बीन डेवलप बाई सी पी सी बी Central Pollution Control Board for improving accountability, traceability, transparency, and facilitating the ease of reporting compliance to the EPR obligations by producers and importers. Then there is a mobile app for single-use plastic grievance reducer which has been launched. 
to empower citizens so that they can check sale usage and manufacturing of single use plastic in their area and finally industrial production of graphene from waste plastic a portal has been launched to promote more industries to come forward to uh, upcycle the plastic waste all right so these are the four initiatives which have been launched as green initiative during the event when this mascot prakriti was launched okay so the question is regarding the mascot which means option b prakriti will be the correct answer option b and now let's talk about the last question for today question number 5 very direct question no need to go into the details as per the urban regional development plans formulation and implementation guidelines 2014 which were finalized by the ministry of housing and urban affairs so what is the recommended area for open space per person ek aadmi ke liye open space kitna hona chahiye ek city ke andar so this recommended area guys is 10 to 12 square meters option a will be the correct answer to this question okay and that's it for the session today i hope all the questions are clear and do remember the shreshth scheme is very very important it has a huge chance that it it can come in your exam okay and i'll see you in the next session on friday goodbye take care and god bless